Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be going over some 11 labs prompts, whether it's going to be pacing, pausing, yelling, or whispering, whatever it may be. I'm going to show you how it's done. Let's get right on into it. So 11 labs does have a little tutorial about this, a guide, and I'm pretty much taking most of this stuff from there and explaining it a little bit better for you. So if you want to follow along, you can certainly do that. So if you want to add some pauses to it, that's going to be the first section. You can use simply just dashes like this. So this one says, I do want to go, but it is getting late. That's kind of the effect I want to have. Now, given the voice that you use, some voices can be a little bit faster. Some can be a little bit slower. I've tested this before and sometimes someone will just run right through it and sometimes you'll get that pause that you're looking for. So that's something that you want to keep in mind when utilizing this. Allow me to generate it so you can hear what it sounds like. I do want to go, but it is getting late. Okay, so there was like a slight pause there. You can tell it didn't flow all the way through. Let's do say another example and we can test it out. I do want to go, but it is getting late. Okay, once again, a slight pause there. Let's see, I don't like Rachel's too much. How about Anthony? I do want to go, but it is getting late. So I think that one was a little bit better. So that's going to be the first section when it comes to pauses. Next, what we can do is use ellipses. All right, and this was an example taken from the 11 Labs actual like guide. So let's actually listen to it. I, yeah, I guess so. Right, not bad. So there was the I... Yeah, I guess so. Like they're uncertain. They don't have, you know, the certainty certainty that they would need to make a statement and say like, yeah, that's right. Eh, maybe I guess so. Let's go back to Bella. I, yeah, I guess so. All right. Perfect. I like that. There's the pause and then, yeah, I guess so. Okay. Dot, dot, dot. So that's how you can add some pauses to some of your text to speech. Let's take a look at the next example. Next, all we're going to do is simply use paragraph breaks. So we have welcome to my YouTube channel. Find a video that you want to watch kick back, relax, and enjoy the presentation. So that's ideally what I want it to sound like. We just have a few line breaks here and let's test it out and see how it works. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Find a video that you wanna watch, kick back, relax, and enjoy the presentation. Okay, so welcome, there wasn't as much of a break, but you'll notice in the other ones there definitely was. There was also the end of a, uh, there was a period there, and then of course we had a comma, so that can be a reason for that. That one I feel is a little bit more challenging to make work, and keep in mind with a lot of these prompts, they even talk about how sometimes like they're going to be a little bit better uh, than other versions. Like It also depends on the voice, but those are three ways that you can add pauses to your 11 Labs text-to-speech. Now let's take a look at some of the motions, probably something you're looking forward to the most. I know I certainly am. Let's test it out. All right. So are you sure about that? He said, confused. Don't test in me. He shouted angrily. I got this from the 11 Labs guide as well. Like I said, if you want to follow along with that, this is going to be with Bella again. I think Bella is one of the best female voices. Let's generate anyway. Are you sure about that? He said, confused. Don't test me. He shouted angrily. Right, that was perfect. Okay. That's exactly what we were looking for. So it is going to be a little bit more challenging to get them to like shout and say, don't test me without them actually saying he shouted angrily, but you will get that actual feature in there of the anger and aggression. There is another way of doing this with parentheses, which can work sometimes. Once again, I've tested this out. So if you do like whisper, don't test me. Let's see how it sounds. Whisper. Don't test me. Okay, so that didn't work there. Whispering. Whispering. Don't test me. See, there you go. You'll notice how when I changed that there, it was definitely a much more of a whisper, uh, I guess you could say statement. Let's do it one more time. Whispering. Don't test me. Okay, the don't test me part. Now let's listen without the whispering. Don't test me. Uh, you'll notice there's a huge difference, right, between like being whispery and angry. So let's do another one. So let's take this out. Let's do yelling. So I'm just going to do yelling. Why did you move the cat bowl into the living room? Okay. I heard my cat scratching at her uh, cat food. That's the first thing that was top of mind. That's the reason for that. So let's do yelling and see how it works. Yelling. Why did you move the cat bowl into the living room? Okay, let's go back over and let's hear the difference. Why did you move the cat bowl into the living room? Okay, not, I don't know if you could tell a huge difference right there. Let's do, let's see, yell. Sometimes you got to just test it around. Yell. Why did you move the cat bowl into the living room? Okay, let's try someone else. Let's do like Anthony. Do yelling again. Yelling. Why did you move the cat bowl into the living room? 
Let's do whispering to see if it changes up. Whispering. Why did you move the cat bowl into the living room? Okay, you'll notice, I mean, it wasn't a super whisper, but it was definitely toned down a lot more, okay? So that was the example of the emotions. And overall, those are just some of the quick prompts that you can utilize with 11 Labs. Like I said, it is going to be, let's see, he yelled. Let's do this. Why did you move the cat bowl into the living room? He yelled. Okay, like there's always going to be that aspect where you can just pretty much play it out how you want it to sound, but there is going to be that narration aspect where it says he yelled or he exclaimed or he whispered or he asked why, but that's how you can change things up. Play around with it a little. Like I said, the, the voice that you use can really dictate how it's going to sound because some people speak a lot faster than others like me. Okay, so that about does it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.